Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Tonight, we're gonna to look at some Henry J's. First one we're gonna look at, we had on a video a couple weeks ago, and my phone rang off the hook once people started seeing this video. So I thought, well, I've actually got two of them in this new yard, so let's do a little more in-depth walk around on the first one we had a couple weeks ago, and then we're gonna walk back here a few rows, and then we're gonna catch the other one. So we'll get both Henry J's in this video, and just dedicate this video to these two Henry J's that I've got here right now. So. First one here we did look at a couple weeks ago. There's no grill or hood on this car. It does still have some of the corner trims from the grill. Headlight buckets are there. I think even one of the trim rings is inside of it. Still has the original engine in it, which is kind of cool where we took our first shot off of the uh, Kaiser supersonic four cylinder. Has the original Kaiser Fraser Corporation tags on it. And this car is, is, was very well used, I guess, in, in its day. It was converted into a pickup. So we'll get around the back here. Stop and take a look inside on the driver's side here. We've got the K horn button in it still. Still got the original dash cluster in it with the K on it. When they cut this car, they cut it right here behind the doors. They did not hurt, affect the door frames, but they cut it right here on the basically just a few inches behind the door frame and cut the back of the roof off and converted this into a pickup. Um, it appears as though they, they cut out the original rear window, the whole frame and everything, so we've still got the original frame here and grafted that into the makeshift back cab panel that they put on this thing. We can look back here along the sides. They just kind of hacked along the edge and uh, took the seat out and made themselves a pickup. Um, this was trunk. This car never had a trunk. This was a solid bodied car that came all the way back. They just hacked her across the back and made a pickup. Does still have the original rear bumper, what appears to be the original tag light on it. And basically did the exact same thing over here. Cut it right here back at the back edge of the seat. Basically where the quarter window frame would have come down, cut it right there and took the roof off and made a pickup. But over here, we can see the same thing, just a couple inches behind the door frame. Didn't hurt the door. And uh, when they cut it off, we look inside, we still got a headlight bezel in it and uh, the dash structure and everything's all still in it. Front seat's still in it. And this fender's here just banged up a little bit, but pretty solid. So anyway, let's take a quick walk. We'll head back a couple rows. We'll catch the other Henry J that we've got sitting here, and we'll give you a good look at it too. So let's head back this way. Walking past the Fleet Line Chevy, a couple of Fleet Line Chevys. 40 Buick over here to the other side. Coming up on a big old cool looking Packard. Got a 48 to 50 era F3 Ford. Got some prelims. Watch the steering wheel. As we come past the uh, Hudson Wasp. Definitely something you don't see all the time. And we've arrived at our other Henry J. This car is missing a good chunk of the front clip. We've got a banged up right fender. We still have the splash panels. We've still got a front bumper. But as we can see over here, this hood and fender is gone. This one has a Kaiser supersonic six cylinder in it. Inside of this car is stuffed with other parts also. Um, so it looks like some extra seats, some extra door parts. And the dash is all still intact in this. Got the original K horn button, the K on the dash, and a whole slew of extra parts. We come on around the back. This car obviously has not been cut off. Once again, this was not a trunk car, uh, just a solid fastback. Somebody put some sort of a bar across the back for some reason, unbeknownst to me. I don't know what that was there for, unless they needed a clothesline or something. I don't know, but. They added that to it. Still got the rear bumper. This one is missing the back glass. 
But uh, come on around this side. Car's got a little bit of rust in the quarters, but overall, it doesn't look terrible. It's got some rust in the floors. And there we can see some extra pieces, some extra door parts, some extra seat parts, all kinds of stuff been stuffed inside of that one. So, even little bits and pieces laying everywhere on these things. So, anyway, there's the Henry J's. Um, once again, if you've got any other specific questions, give me a call. Hopefully this will answer some of the questions that some of you guys have had, because like I said, I've had tons of calls on these little cars. So I want to just do a video strictly on them so we, you guys can see what I've got here and what I'm talking about. Got any other specific questions, just give me a call, 620-786-4428. Uh, the number's posted on the page also. And uh, we can go over the details. Um, between the two cars, There's pro you probably could put one together or build a gasser out of one. Um, but it would probably take both cars to do it or tons of good parts. And there's not a lot of these left around for parts either. So anyway, got any questions, give me a call. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your evening to hang out with me. And we will see you on the next episode.